Hello friends, this video on simple equations part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will look at simple equations in real life examples. That is how we make use of simple equations to solve real life problems that we encounter. So let us look at the first example. Rohan subtracts thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. He finds the result to be 8. How many notebooks Rohan has? So first of all, we need to set up the equation. So how do we set up the equation? We consider that value which, do not, which we do not know as a variable. So what do we do not know here? How many notebooks Rohan has? So let us assume that the number of notebooks that Rohan has is equal to x. Now let us establish the expression based on the condition that is given in the question. So the condition is that Rohan subtracts thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. So he is subtracting thrice the number of notebooks he has that is 3x. He is subtracting 3x from 50. And when he subtracts 3x from 50, what is the result that he gets? The result is 8. So basically 50 minus 3x is equal to 8. So this is the equation. Now, how do we find the value of x? By solving this equation. So how do we solve this equation? We keep the variables on the left hand side and we start moving the constants to the right hand side. So this becomes 8 minus 50. Therefore, minus 3x is equal to minus 42. Or we can say x is equal to minus 42 divided by minus 3. So minus minus would be plus and this 3 into 14 is equal to 42. So x is equal to 14. That means Rohan has 14 textbooks. Let's look at the next example. Dhoni scored twice as many runs as Kohli. Together their runs fell too short of a double century. How many runs did each one score? So we do not know the scores of each of them. So let us assume that Kohli had scored X runs. So if Kohli scored X runs, how many runs Dhoni scored? Dhoni scored twice as many runs as Kohli. Therefore Dhoni scored 2X. Right? Now the next condition in the question is that together their runs fell too short of a double century. So total runs of Dhoni and Kohli, what would be their total runs together? So total runs would be x plus 2x. So x plus 2x is nothing but 3x. This is 2x plus 1x. So that is 3x. Now as per the question, this 3x is less than double century. One century is 100. So double century is 200. So it, the question says that this 3x is less than 200 by 2. That means the difference between 200 and 3x is equal to 2. So this is our simple equation. So we need to solve this. So how do we solve this? It becomes minus 3x is equal to 2 minus 200. Or we can say minus 3x is equal to minus 198. Or x is equal to minus 198 divided by minus 3. So minus minus would be plus. So this is 3, 6 is 18. 3, 6 is 18. So x is, the value of x will be 66. So this is the score of Kohli. So Kohli scored 66 runs. And how many runs did Dhoni score? He scored 2 into 66. That is 132 runs. So Dhoni's score is 132 and Kohli's score is 66. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.